Good day, everyone. Hope you have a lovely day. So, it's Monday, and we have this phone. This is an ITO S16 came in for repair. The phone booked in has no power. So, we have to diagonalize and fix this, this phone. Huh? This is ITO A16. So, I want you to pay attention on this power meter, which is on top here. Which is now 5 volts. And uh, let's wait 0, 0 amps because there's no load there. This is the USB power meter for testing phones. So plug in the charger. And the meter goes off. Hmm? No charging light. Pressing the power on. This is just a dead phone. Hmm? And the meter just went off. Unplug the charger. The meter is on. Plug back the charger. The meter goes off. Unplug the charger. The meter is on. Plug back the charger. The meter goes off. Huh? So what do you think is the problem? Huh? What do you think is the problem? You know what? Phones, laptops, cell phones. In cell phones, laptops, uh, TVs, oh, on these days, they all use switching power supplies. So if you understand the basics, you can fix anything. Uh, according to me, when I see something like this, it means something is shorted to ground. Something on the 5 volts power line is shorted to ground. We have the main board here on these phones. We have the main board. We have the flex, the charging flex board here on the bottom of the phone, uh, which is connecting to the main board. So either the main board, the fault is on the main board, or it's on this charging flex panel at the bottom. But we'll see. We'll see what's going on with this phone. Yeah, this is... Okay, no power. Okay. So let's see. We have a few screws here. Maybe someone once tried something here. So let's do a quick diagnosis and fix this dead phone. Hmm? How are we fixing a dead phone like this? Okay. So what is the problem with this phone? An idea about the charging. Okay. This frame is coming on with the board. That's why I hate fixing small things. Hmm? Okay. That's the phone. Let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. Charger plugged. It goes off. Unplugged, it's on. Okay. Now, let's separate the fault. How do we separate the fault here? Huh? How do you separate the fault? Because we have this connector for the battery. 
Maybe you can see. We have this connector for the battery. We have this connector for the for the screen. And here on the bottom. On the bottom we have another panel that is charging flex connector panel the charging flex panel here at the bottom so what you can do we can disconnect the screen here now let's plug back the connector it's going off so it means the problem is not on the main board it's on this yeah oh something is getting hot on the bottom here. so our problem is not from the top huh our problem is not from the top it's not from the top at all So let's play with the with the lower panel. Let's plug in the charger here. Check on check on the on the power meter, the light goes off. So the five volts power line is shorted to ground by this panel. Something is wrong with this panel. So let's see what can be fault on this panel. Huh? Let's see what can be fault here. What can be fault here? So what can be fault on this panel? Huh? What can be fault? Because on this side we do have this we have the charging port. And we have no components on this side here. On the other side, yeah, the, this body looks very dead. Huh? That's the microphone. We have this diode, the input diode. We have some, some small diodes here. We do have this capacitor. Uh, the schematics here is very easy. The five volts is coming through this diode. This diode, in case of anything happen, the diode will die. And after the diode is coming, this capacitor, this ceramic capacitor is connected on the five volts power line on the plus. It is coming here to this connector. So, like what I said, what can be fought on this board? Huh? What do you think can be fault here? This diode zero zero. You can hear the sound of the multimeter. We have a capacitor here. And the capacitor is shorted again. So without wasting time. Either I see the capacitor of the diode. What do you think? But obvious, what is most likely to die first? It is the diode. So I'll start with the diode first. And the diode is out. Yeah, this port is very dead. The board is very dead, so we have to clean up this board. Huh? Let's check the capacitor again.
And the capacitor is good. Here. This is ground. This is plus. And it's coming straight to the capacitor. Like what I said. So. I'll take another diode. Oh. Let me look for another diode. We have this diode from another board. Let's check out that diode quickly. And let's replace it here. And that's all. That's everything that we have to do here. Now, there's no more short, you can see. No more short. So that was a shorted diode. Huh? That was a shorted diode. So we are ready to test. Hmm? We are ready to test. Oh, we need to reconnect this this panel for the speakers. Huh? Let's reconnect this panel. I took out this connector for the speakers by by mistake with the OTA. So we need to reconnect it back. Let's resolder back that cable. Let's resolder back the cable. Just like this. Uh, everything looks fine. Hmm? Everything looks fine. So, let's see. If we have a working phone, let's see if we have a working phone here. I'm curious to see if we now have a waking phone or not. Plug in the charger.
Stew is taking no current, no current at all. Huh? Okay. 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 Why no current at all? Why? Hmm? Let's clean let's clean up the connector. Let's put back the connector. Plug in the charger. Yeah, it's, it's working. Check here. It's taking three something milliamps. Let's see if we have anything on the screen. Let's see if we have anything on the screen. You know what we need to we need just to stack this speaker a little bit with some Okay. Okay, let's unplug the charger. We have the battery sign. Huh? Let's plug back the charger. Check eighty one percent. And the phone is working fine. It's taking it's taking 40 milliamps. Let's try to power on the, the phone with a tweezer. We do have the switch here. There's no that, that, that panel for clicking. But I'll show you the plus and minus. And we have a working phone. Huh? Explain that. So, this phone was not coming on because uh, of a shorted diode. And now, now the power meter is no longer going off when I plug in the charger. The charger is plugged, it's taking, it's taking 360, 380 milliamps. And the phone is, is just came on. Huh? So that's how you can diagonize and fix uh, a dead phone. The phone looks working. Yeah, it is working. It is working. Everything is fine. So, you see? So like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. At least we learn something if you plug in the charger and the, the charger goes off or the power meter goes off, it means something is wrong on the flex charging panel. Mostly, you have a shorter diode to ground. So see you on the next one. Bye.